short video of the 57 Chevy Bel Air Tudor hardtop. Restored probably 20 years ago. I don't know who did it, but it was um, frame off restoration, rotisserie if you'll have it that way. Floors and everything underneath are done the way that they should be done with the red oxide sheet metal and all the other undergarage pieces uh, in gloss black and semi-gloss black for preservation. Looks like all the stainless was polished, done pretty well, and it has been probably shown in the beginning, but in recent years it's more of a um, driver. So the original intake manifold and carburetor are in the trunk. If those went back on it, it'd be more authentic and original. Has um, add-on air conditioning, which you saw at the first part of the video. And um, the controls inside the car for the heater and the air conditioning are what looks like original aftermarket replacements with an addition of the uh, AC unit in the center, the, uh, the one below the dash there that blows out the cold air and when you've got the AC on. These right here would be what you would see in 1957 originally, along with this control unit. So that's original as well. This is what would not have been in an original AC car. Um, yeah, non-original radio. This has factory power steering and power brake. You should have noticed the treadle vac unit that uh, Chevy used for the power brakes when I was under the hood. So here it is, nice 57 Chevy. Yes, the clock is working and uh, it is for sale. I had two people that wanted to come and get it. One person was on his way and had his trailer tires blow out and uh, the damage to the trailer, so I haven't heard from him since. But uh, this is the car and it is for sale. So I hope you like the 57 Chevy. I'm gonna put it away now. So I'm not gonna drive it out on the road. I got it nice and clean and I don't wanna get it all dirty, but I'll just head out the driveway here. So there you go, 57 Chevy Bel Air Tudor Hardtop. Thanks for watching.